Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. Today, we've got another independent film. It's a full-length feature, and it's called Sledge. Now, Sledge tells us the story of a group of individuals who go out into the woods in the middle of nowhere to camp for a weekend. They have a camping trip. They're out there to have some fun and some partying, right? Well, unfortunately, they cross paths with Adam Lynch, a sledgehammer-wielding, mask-wearing crazy man who thinks he's in a horror film and decides to dispatch these folks uh, accordingly with his weapon of choice. <laughs> Let me tell you about Sledge. $2,000. Doesn't buy you a lot nowadays. Could buy you a big, huge screen TV. Or you could do what Christian Hansen and his crew did and said, fuck it, we don't want the TV. We want to make ourselves a friggin' horror movie. And that's exactly what they did. Uh, Christian Hansen, who wrote and helped co-direct this with John B. Uh, Sovey, also plays the character Adam Lynch. And let me tell you, the one thing that really stood out for me in this film um, uh, over everything else was the Adam Lynch character. There was a, there was thought put in there. I thought he was just going to be the kind of silent killer wielding a sledgehammer. Oh no, Adam Lynch has some opinions and he's not afraid to give them. And I, I loved his one-liners, line his zingers. He, every time he was on screen, it just made me smile because I, I just enjoyed this character. And the fact that he uses a sledgehammer as a weapon of choice is definitely a plus. I think the sledgehammer is really a neglected weapon in the horror genre, and it's great to see someone come back and make that their we main weapon of choice. Now, uh, this group of individuals that uh, old Adam Lynch uh, terrorizes... <laughs> They're supposed to be a group of friends, and this is the one thing where I, I kind of had a little bit of issue of, well, most of them, three of the four are friends, and that it just, there was a lot of conflict there, and, and you see this quite often, and it almost felt like a little bit too much, maybe, but maybe that's because the character Alex is supposed to be that way. Let me tell you, if there's one character that start, it starts off as just being offensive and that you really, really think is an asshole, that's Alex. But what I found interesting in the film, and I did not expect, is that his character actually has a little growth, has a little arc to it, which you don't always get in a low-budget teen slasher film like this. Uh, so that surprised me that they actually gave that character just a little bit of growth. Not a lot, but you could see it change throughout. Now, most of the actors in here are fairly raw. This is their first film for most of them. And, you know, you only get a limited budget, uh, you can you, you start grabbing your friends in that. Now, they did well with the script that they have, but the acting does come across a little raw on screen. So there is that. The production design as well, they kept it simple, which was nice, and the gore effects looked really good where they have them. I would have liked to see a little few more kills by good old Adam Lynch, but that's maybe because I enjoyed the Adam Lynch characters so much. Uh, I, the location they had, the woods looked beautiful. I really liked this location, and the audio was decent in level as well. Some of the editing maybe was just a little bit rough, but that's okay uh, because, you, you know, it's played off as a low-budget B-horror film because it is a low-budget B-horror film, so you can kind of forgive that, but there's just a few spots where they, they cut to just a blank screen, you know, the black screen and back, uh, and, and that kind of took me a little bit away from it. I would have preferred a little dissolves or whatnot, but uh, outside of that, I enjoyed Sledge for basically what it is, which is a low-budget teen slasher film. What really made me uh, enjoy it was Adam Lynch, and I would love to see what these guys could do with a bigger budget, because if they could make an entertaining character like Adam Lynch on the budget that they had, I can imagine the slasher film that these guys could really make had they had more money. So always support independent cinema. I won't get on my soapbox too much with it, but really, folks, if you see Kickstarters or whatnot, give, uh, give your support to independent horror cinemas. That's where we're getting the original stuff. That's where we're getting the fun stuff. And that'll do it for us here. Sledge, check it out. I'll put their Facebook down below. It is a fun film for what it is. And I think those who are fans of the independent low-budget film scene should check it out. It'll be at a festival near you. Go to their Facebook page and their webpage to see where they may be showing next. And if you get a chance, catch this film called Sledge. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stub.